to Manu, essentially he was saying, I have been told by an informant that the FBI conducts off-site meetings. Well, I mean, no kidding. Like, I would expect that they would. I mean, if they didn't, I mean, we, I conduct off-site meetings, right? And I don't, I'm not involved in anything super secret. So, yes. Hi, friends. This is Scott Punpiso on the 25th of January, 2018. And now there are conspiracy theory nonsense. This is what I've been saying at nauseum. The brain is the creator of thinking. And religious beliefs creating the brain are a mental illness. This is schizophrenia type disorder and HIV of the brain. And it creates, besides religion, schizophrenia, all the conspiracy theory nonsense. Like Alex Jones and the rest of the uh, God-obsessed party imbeciles controlling America the GOP. And the most, the most damaging things are the churches that create all this zombie Jesus nonsense teaching it to children for over 400 years in the United States of America, the stupidest nation on the planet. Look at this. The, is it possible there's something in this new tranche of text that they've come up with that, that is incriminating some way? Yeah, I mean, sure, I haven't seen them. Yeah. But that's not the argument he made. Go back to Tuesday, he was on another network, and he says corruption at the highest levels of the FBI. That is, that is his words, corruption. See what the spears of garbage GOP are doing? And you know who's very happy? Putin. Vladimir Putin is extremely happy because he's the one that used misinformation to make a stupid, gullible, demented, chrysocotic, infected Americans vote for Donald Trump as president. The greatest, the most disgusting, ignorant, psychotic, narcissistic piece of excreta ever. This, this, this piece of garbage that evolved mutated primate, because we are all evolved mutated primates, created by speed of semen DNA from a penis. That's what we are, we're primates, we're freak primates. And one of them, the ignoramus's anti-science piece of excreta, is running the United States of America. With all the conspiracy theory, all these senators who are Christianity infected, imbecile, theotard is stuck in the 12th century, they go to church all the time, they pray. What is a prayer? Prayer is telepathic communication with imaginary friends. And you find them at, in all religious psychosis and all schizophrenia, temporal epilepsy, all mental disorders have prayers. And of course, the, the, the result is this conspiracy theory crap in the government, in people running the country. It's like having a pilot, you know, taking you, flying a, a big 747 plane and the, and the pilot and the crew is a schizophrenic. And they believe in all the imaginary friends and all that, so they have paranoia. Would you like to to have a pilot that is flying you somewhere that is schizophrenic and have a problem with his brain? No. That's the reason we shouldn't have a piece of garbage, imbecile, president or senator or congressman, moron, ignorant piece of garbage, controlling the United States of America, creating laws in the legis legis legislature. That's the problem. Off-site meetings is the equivalent to Rosemary Woods, Nixon's uh, personal secretary, accidentally deleting 18 minutes of White House tapes three See? days after the Watergate break-in. I went through the transcript of, of Trump's um, comments, uh, impromptu, sort of to the press before he left for Davos, and that to me stood out. I'm, I'm stunned it hasn't gotten more attention. I mean, I know he says lots of things. Putin is happy. Just look, look at this. I would urge people, you can hate me, you can think we're... Look at the evidence that exists. The evidence that exists doesn't... It doesn't merit Ron Johnson suggesting there's corruption in the FBI. It See? certainly doesn't merit Donald Trump making a comparison to Watergate. See? I mean, I, you know, it's the it's the, the Chris Cuomo CNN facts matter. They do. You, you can't just exactly. say things that are false. Look at the data. Look at what's there. Right. And then exactly. tell me how you conclude, can exactly. conclude, based on what you know, that this is Watergate. Or even... And see, friends, this is what 
nobody seems to see. Even uh, mentally healthy, in other words, atheist scientists like Dawkins, Dr. Krauss, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, uh, all of them. All these brilliant, brilliant minds. And of course, they all create thinking like we do with the brain. We are nothing but, and I repeat that at nauseum, shoe fits, wear it. We are nothing but evolved mutated primates created by speed of semen DNA from a penis. And what organ do we use for thinking and cogitating? Well, we use the brain. This is the user manual. See, and the, the problem is people don't see it. As long as we're aware that we are nothing but freak primates, then we are okay. We are okay. But you have to begin from the beginning of existence and our origins. And the origin is, our origin is, and it happened, uh, you know, evolution, four billion years when the planet was formed, and all that. If you study science, you'll understand this. And uh, we're nothing but freak primates. Perhaps 47 million years ago, born a virus. We are composed of viruses. We have 100 trillion viruses in our gut. They influence our thinking. We have bacteria. They influence our thoughts. Food influences our thoughts. Take some LSD and see what happens. But stuff like that. Take cappuccinos. You'll be like this. So all that influences our thinking. And it is extremely important that we realize that. When the brain is sick, then uh, you can only create delusions. Like in schizophrenia, temporal lobe of epilepsy, mania, bipolar disorder, multiple personality disorder, autism, etc., 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 etc. Religion is one of the schizophrenias. And the reason is because all religions, all of them, have bizarre metamagical deluded beliefs. They are created in the brain. See, they are inside the brain. And this is absolutely a fact, friends. A fact. So all this conspiracy theory with the secret society and piece of garbage psycho Trump and it's ilk, because all the God-obsessed party, the GOP, are really demented, Christianity-infected imbeciles, deluded people stuck in the 12th century. And the cause of their mental disorder is because they've been brought up in Christianity-infected homes, uh, taken to church, where they do the prayers, which is telepathic communications with imaginary friends. And this is schizophrenia. When you will believe things that are not true, you hear voices. And the voices can be, you know, all in your brain. And you hear them, and you speak in tongue. That's glossolalia. You go like, oh, you know, that is, that is a, a psychosis. And people don't understand that. So the, the same thing, you go to any, any hospital, you see people, you visit somebody that has a schizophrenia. That is committed to a mental institution. I mean, and a person is intellectual, intelligent, you know, uh, and all that, and just visit this person and talk to him. And he will be exactly, he, the reasoning, it will be exactly like those of the religious people. And religious psychosis it could be exactly the same, like one of the versions of Christianity, there are hundreds of them. The, uh, uh, Islam psychosis, which you have 73 sex, same thing. You pray five times a day to the imaginary friends on a rug. You go to church, you, you bow, you kneel. And you actually, when you kneel, you actually uh, uh, perform infellation. That's what you're doing. 5,000 years ago, you, if you study history, you see all the, com it is all true. And it's in a picture. You can actually see it and read it. 5,000 years ago, you see it in the stones. Book of the Dead. But in this 21st century, there is no excuse. And people 
in control of governments are people the same thing like a pilot that have their hands of the passengers in his hands. This is the same thing happening in a country that is run by a psychopath. Because Donald Trump is a narcissistic, extremely ignorant, disconnected, psychotic, Christ-psychotic infected imbeciles, anti-science, deranged, schizophrenic, psychopath. The man is not well. And you can see it all the time. This, this, this organization of thinking, that is schizophrenia and you find that in all religions. Regardless of the intelligence of the person, because a person can be very intelligent and they still have this problem of, of believing in imaginary friends. We never landed on the moon, for instance, 9-11 uh, was done by government and people will swear to God this happens, but to the imaginary friends, never landed on the moon and the rest of conspiracy theory, nonsense. And you see that in Donald Trump, you see that in of the GOP imbeciles, now with the secret society by the FBI. <laughs> it's amazing. And this is happening today. Today. January 25th, 2018. 2018. This is not, uh, this is not uh, uh, 1918. It's 2018. It is not 1418. It's 2018. <laughs> if it was 1918 or, or you have 1418, then there'll be an excuse because people were extremely stupid and ignorant. The more you know, the more difficult it is for others to lie to you. So you have to use the brain and, and connect the dots. And the United States is being run by psychopath imbecile Donald Trump. Thanks to Putin. Putin is the one that created all the information under the internet because there's so much falsehoods in the internet. Conspiracy theory, WikiLeaks, all the imbecile, and the Americans are so stupid they fell for it. And the majority is all oh, the economy, the economy, the economy, all oh, this economy, but with Donald Trump. And of course, piece of shit, Donald Trump dismantled all the regulations, which you have to have regulations to have to have a planet that functions correctly, not to destroy the environment, you know, all that regulation on automobiles and planes and regulate all this stuff. You have to do that, but that stops people, all the big companies, for selling you the crap and making a lot of money. But when Trump comes around, he says, oh, the regulations, and people don't know anything about their planet or about their own health. The only thing they care is about they are making money. Well, imbeciles, what happened when the planet is ruined? How are you going to make money, piece of shit, if you are all sick? because of, of uh, Donald Trump uh, created all these, uh, all these deregulations. And you have nothing but pollution in the air and all that, but you're still and you're eating garbage, polluted water and all that, thanks to Donald Trump, but you have millions in the bank. What are you going to do, piece of shit, ignorant Americans? Healthy, no healthy, but tons of money. What are you going to do with the money, assholes, if you're in a hospital? You're in a hospital suffering from disease and emphysema and all that stuff because of the, there's no regulations, so that's what happens, stupid, ignorant people. And now you have it. That's the truth, my friends. And this is amazing. <laughs> Look at this, Psycho Trump, our disgusting, racist, demented, ignorant, theotarded president Put in there by Putin, very intelligent guy. Would you believe this? He doesn't know if he trusts the FBI. See, there is a problem with this piece of garbage imbecile, this demented psychopath. He's the president of the United States. He controls, he's the commander in chief, he controls everything. He controlled the Justice Department. He controlled absolutely everything. There's three branches of government. The executive with this piece of shit is the, the leader of. Then you have the legislature, which is the Congress, which is the Senate and the House, run by Christianity infected GOP imbeciles. And then you have the judicial, which is nine judges. 
and uh, we have, uh, you know, crisis-psychotic infected imbecile judges in there. And these are the imbeciles that control the whole country. The problem with a psychopath is a Hitler, is a Mussolini Hitler wannabe. He, this piece of shit idiot that we have for president in this country, he wants to be a dictator. He wants to just command, like, just like the Roman emperors did, like Nero, Caligula, everybody praising him. Or like Hitler, that Christian Hitler was praised by, by everyone. So he wants to be like that. He wants to be praised. Command loyalty. Like this. Just check out Hitler. The Bund. 1930s, the American Bund and all that. And that he wants to be like that. He wants to be a dictator of the United States of America. He is. He thinks he's the dictator. And the, the, the GOP imbeciles just kiss his butt. Like in ancient times, you just kneel down and you hold the, uh, the sandals of your, of your leader and, you, and uh, you worship him as a god. That's what he wants to be, worshipped as a god, this piece of garbage, demented imbecile. And placed there by Putin. <laughs> Brilliant. So that's what we have now in this country. And the fault is in the churches, because the churches infect the brain of children with all this garbage and lies. That's the problem. The brain HIV of some big God believe. Religious psychosis taught in churches as fact for over 400 years. That's the problem in the United States of America, which is a Christianity infected nation run by imbeciles. That's what it is. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary proof. That's right. The secret society and the FBI holding secret off-site meetings is a pretty extraordinary claim. An informant who corroborates secret meetings being held off-site, that's also an extraordinary claim. But the senator offered no proof. He didn't show the actual text message, and he said nothing more about who the alleged informant might be or what they had claimed. In a no proof was offered, extraordinary or even ordinary. <laughs> this is what happens when people are infected with Christ psychosis. Like Trump. Look at this imbecile. It is disgusting, man. Disgusting. Psycho. Look at this. See the text, he said. Except at that point, we couldn't see the text. Johnson released some of the text, but conveniently, not that one. So that was yesterday. And what a difference a day makes, because now we can see the text. Not because Senator Johnson released it, but because news organizations, including our... It's a Johnson, joke, you pieces of shit! <laughs> the day after the election... There's the people running the United States of America. Are you even going to give out your calendars? Seems it's imbecile. Maybe it should just be the first meeting of the <laughs> secret society. It's a joke, secret society! It is a serious text, especially when you consider that the calendars she was talking about, according to sources familiar with the exchange, refer to Vladimir Putin-themed calendars that were bought as a gag gift. See? So today, Monterey caught up with Senator Johnson yet again. And look at what he says now. Do you, this text message seems to be look at the asshole. A comment about secret society was in jest. Do you agree that it appears to be it was in jest? It's a real possibility. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. As you, you look at the moron. Possibility. See that? See what I mean? Fox News on Tuesday. We weren't the only ones who noticed the disappearance of this alleged informant. Informant. His fellow Senator Claire McCaskill, the ranking Democrat. It's an ancient alien, the informant. <laughs> that told this piece of garbage to Republican today asked deluded for imbecile to his claim. about said, the secret society. If the committee has any evidence that the FBI is, as you have stated, biased and corrupt at the highest levels, assume that evidence is strong in both quality and quantity and extends far beyond a casual mention in a text message between two agents who are involved. So this is the problem in the United States of America. It's run by schizophrenic imbeciles, beginning with Trump, a psycho Trump, a disgusting, racist, homophobe, deluded psychopath, because that's what he is, a psychopath, along with the God-obsessed party, the Republican imbeciles. And the Democrats are, are pussies, and they don't do anything. So there you have it. That's what's happening in this country of ours. And Putin is very happy. <laughs> he creates chaos by having the, the very gullible, idiotic, ignorant Americans 
vote for this piece of garbage, for this president to be controlling, causing all this havoc in the United States of America. Nice going, Putin. Very smart. Keep the brain healthy, my friends. In other words, atheist. Pacquiao.